Okay, I'll explain variation. Okay, this is the modern max chapter for form 5. Okay, actually this is a very easy chapter and then this chapter only come out in paper 1. Out in, only come out in SPM paper 1. Okay, I do a quick revision for variations. Actually variation, you only got two parts. Okay, the first part we call it varies directly and the second part we call it varies inversely okay we only got varies directly or varies inversely okay how do differentiate is like that okay when he say uh, for example he give you an equation he say that let's say y is varies directly with x so when you see varies directly with x okay you have to find you ask you to find a constant value so you must be able to write to y will equal to kx okay remember when it's very di directly you have to add a k where k is the constant value in front of the x okay okay give an example let's say y is varies directly with the cube uh, x cube x cube okay therefore y will equal to k x cube therefore that's all okay therefore you have to add a k here see you have to add a k in front of x okay when you change this symbol to equal you have to add a value k which we call it k is a constant okay what happened to varies inversely okay let's say you say y is varies inversely to x so varies inversely to x is will become 1 over x y varies inversely is x so is y the okay varies inversely is 1 over x so this one we call it very inversely with x he won't tell you it's 1 over x when he said inversely you have to automatically write 1 over okay so when you say m is varies inversely with n square okay let's say varies inversely with n square okay so you have to write 1 over for inversely so remember when you see inversely you just write 1 over okay so therefore when this one you, when you write the equation you equal to y equal to k over x k will always on the top you can never get the k on the bottom okay in this one remember k will never be side the x for inversely okay k is always on the top okay this one also you see k is on the top he won on the bottom so for, for this one if I write in the equation m will equal to k on the top over n square okay k is a constant value means it can be any number okay maybe you can got uh, you can got 2 over x you can got uh, 5 over n square so k actually is is not uh, unknown is a is a constant means it's a number lah. okay let's have a look some past year question okay we go for some easiest one okay this is considered very easy okay you see it is given that m varies inversely with n so first thing i have to write out the relationship first m varies inversely i say when you see inversely will means one over one over with n m that's all after that he say and m equal to 20 when n equal to 2 he give you this information for m and n what what's the purpose of giving these two information because he want you to find the constant values of k therefore you must able to write out 
the following equation. So m will equal to, remember I said k must be on the top, k over n. Ah, if you are able to write out this information, you can solve this question. Okay, so after that, you just put in the m and n. Okay, so very simple, when m is 20, 20 will equal to k over n is 2. Okay, when you solve this uh, equation, you just move the 2 to this side, you will got k will equal to 40. Okay, so after you got the k equal to 40, what you need to do is, you need to put back the k to the equation you wrote just now. Okay, so therefore, you will get m will equal to 40 over n. Okay, so after you got this one, okay, the important point here. He asks you to calculate the values of n. Means he wants you to calculate the value of n when m equal to 5. So you just substitute the m equal to 5, you can easily get the values of n. So what I need to do, I substitute the value of 5. So 5 will equal to 40 over n. So n will equal to 40 divided by 5. Therefore, n I can get 8. Therefore, for the first example of past year question. Okay, let's have a look on the second one. This one actually is combined that varies directly and varies inversely. Okay, for this one, I use red marker. Maybe it gives you more impression. Okay, first he said, table below shows some values of variable w, x, y, such that w varies directly as the square of x and inversely as y. Okay, so he said, actually, you write out a relationship will involve W, X, and Y. Okay, so okay, the key point is here. W varies directly at the square of X and inversely as Y. When you see inversely, means this one is 1 over. So it means Y will on the bottom. It means Y is a D dot dominator means on the bottom. So X will on the top. So I write I write out the equation first. Okay. Before I write out the equation, we have to know the relationship. So W, okay, so I write W, okay, varies directly, varies directly as the square of x. Square of x is like that, x square. Okay? And inversely as y. Inversely as y. Because this one actually is, if you x square multiple 1 over y, you will got x square over y. So what I suggest is, when you see the inversary, you just write below the x square. Maybe you say w varies directly is as the square square of, let's say, z. So you, y, you write below the z. Okay, so very simple. When you see directly, you write on the top. Inversary, you write on the bottom. And you write the symbol like this. This is uh, stand for the relationship between W and XY. Okay, after that, I say you have to be able to write out the equation because this is very important. Okay, so therefore, W will equal, I say when you write equation, you write equal here, you must have the value of K because you have to find a constant. So, we equal to KX squared over Y. Okay? Remember, k must always on the top. If you write k is beside of y, you got it wrong. Okay, remember, k must always on the top. So when you got k on the top, what you need to do next? You need to substitute all w, x, and y into this equation to find k. After you got the k, okay, then you can easily solve the second one. So we have a look on the first one. Then only we do the second one. We have so first one very simple, we substitute W equal to 40 here, okay, 40 will equal to K, X will equal to 4, therefore it's 4 square, okay, divided by Y, Y equal to 2. So we just solve this equation, we will got 2 move to this side, we will become multiple 2 for both sides, so actually you will got 80, will equal to 4 square is 16, 16 K, therefore, K will equal to 80 
divide by 16 so actually when you simplify you can get actually this one is 5 1 over 5 so k will equal to 5 so I say after you got k equal to 5 what you need to do you have to substitute back to this equation so you got w equal to 5x squared over y you must write out this equation in order to solve the following second part okay so after you substitute k back to this equation then you can easily solve this one so he said w now will become m okay so w will become m will equal to 5x now will become 6 so 6 square divided by y will become 4 so therefore he will ask you to find the m value so m value is you just solve this equation you can find the m value so we got 5 multiple 36 divided by 4 so actually this one is multiple I mean actually I can straight away simplify here okay if this one is 5 plus 36 you cannot simplify 4 with 36 straight away but this one is multiple or this one is divide I mean you can simplify straight away I got 1 9 so 5 multiple 9 we got 45 okay so this is the answer for M okay let's have a look on the last example here okay this one actually is very simple if you understand the question if you not understand the question this one will be a bit tough for you okay let's have a look okay you see is this is, is given that p will vary directly with with q power of n and inversely with r power of n so okay so now he write everything here in the sentence so you have to understand the following sentence okay p i write p varies directly mean i will know on the top we got something as the square root of q square root of q is not equal to square of q because square root is like this this is what we call square root puncture quasa dua q and inversely i say inversely you write over as the cube of r okay this cube will mean r power of 3 mean cube of r okay you must able to write out this one and then he asks you state the value m and the value n mean he want to find the power here okay so you in order to do this chapter you must be very good in indices so therefore square root we can write to power of 1 over 2 your power of 1 over 2 will equal to square root if q root is 1 over 3 okay divide r cube therefore we compare this one with this one we got m will equal to 1 over 2 and n will equal to 3 then you can easily solve this question so remember the key key point is square root will equal to power of 1 over 2 your power of 1 over 2 you will get square root if you do not believe this one you can just press the calculator maybe you press 9 power of 1 over 2 you press 9 power of 1 over 2 in your calculator you will get 3 if you press 16 power of 1 over 2 you will get 4 if you press 27 power of 1 over 3 you will get 3 because 1 over 2 is square root 1 over 3 is q root okay this one just something extra okay hope after this three past year example can help you more understand about the chapter of variation and anyways thanks for watching my video